So, I came to work early with the intention of recording two videos, and that didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. So I thought I'd use the time and learn daughter, because I know we have a lot of daughter requests, and then that didn't take as long as I thought it would. So, here we go. Extra bonus for the week. Daughter for Gage Ruse, Count Cohen, Barbara, Sir Stu, howdy partner, and Savio Lopez. Savio's having a good week. <laughs> He's got a couple. All right. I can't think of another song that uses this tuning, so we might as well take the time now to learn to tune the guitar for Daughter. No reason to make a separate video. Your low E string is going to turn into G by way of going up. Looking at my tuner here. You're going to feel like you're going to break it. Don't you dare tune it to G sharp. It might break, but it didn't very tight though. Your A string is going to go down to the exact same G. Your D string is going to stay D. Your G string is going to stay G. Big surprise. Your B string is going to stay B. And your E string is going to go down two notes to D. Strum it. It sounds like daughter. <laughs> All right. So the first move is really hard. Oh, well, here's the intro first. It's like a power chord. It's not a power chord because we've changed the tuning, but it's shaped like a power chord. A string, we're going to call them the regular names, 5th fret, and D string, 7th fret. Then the first move. Go home. We're done. It was good. 100% <laughs> success rate. All right, so. Then you do this power chord thing again on the 5th and 7th frets of the A and D string. And you slide it up to 7-9. back down. But that's not a slide, that's just a strummet down there. Now here's where most people get it wrong, and I think I've got it right. The next part is not, even though that sounds right, it's just this. Because that's the same thing. But if you watch Stone when he's doing it, he clearly takes his hand off. And that's accomplished by focusing on the D, the G, and the B strings mostly, which sounds exactly like, like that. There it is. So. Again. Notice on that one I'm really focusing on those two, maybe those three strings. Third time. Then. Fourth time. Five. Five, seven, repeat. No. Oops, I did it wrong. It's so hard to not do. <laughs> I'm not going to try to sing and play this one. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. That's the verse for daughter. Okay, the, um, she holds the hand. This is actually so incredibly easy, you're not even going to believe it. A string ninth fret, D string, remember we're calling them their old names, their former names, their maiden names, <laughs> if you will. Uh, A string ninth fret, D string twelfth fret, and you're just going to focus on... You can strum these three, or just these two. It doesn't really matter all that much, whatever you want, but the 12th fret is gonna change to the 11th fret. That's 
That's Mike's part. We'll do that next. And that is almost it. The only other part is, okay, so I think this is Mike's part um, because it's going on while Stone's going. But just in case it's not, oops, I had, um, I had oceans. <laughs> oceans just happened there. Um, man, Stone really likes this, this thing. Anywho, uh, it's G12, G11, D12, D11. Sounds really creepy when you do it out of context. But it doesn't in daughter. Might be Mike's part. I don't know. Someone let us know. And of course, we have this. That's just 9th fret on the A string. Hammer on to 10th fret. Pull off. So you do once, twice, three times, four times, four times without pausing. It's like triplets, right? Right? Blueberry, 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 blueberry. And then you do a little tiny pause, and then one more. And that's the, the run of five. Once, twice, three times, four times, pause, the fifth time. Gonna, thought it was gonna take longer and be harder. do Mike's part and the solo of course because that's what I've been referring to a couple of times it's really fun next time bring on the requests thank you for watching have a wonderful day